At the funeral, which was supposed to be a somber occasion, Olivia, my detestable sister-in-law, sent a message to my phone. Please take care of the credit card payment, will you? We're family after all, so it's fine, right? She had stolen my credit card and was splurging on a trip with her affair partner. She had no idea of the situation she was in. Olivia, you're going to be wanted by the police. What? No way. I don't believe that. She laughed it off with a snort. But I'll take my time to tell her the truth, I thought. You'll definitely regret what you've done. My name is Maggie Walters. I'm 32 years old. I envisioned a tranquil married life like a quiet lake. My husband Nathan was three years older than me, charming like the protagonist of a movie. We met at work, where he was always surrounded by people, earning their respect with his sincerity and dedicated work ethic. At home, he was like the son to me. He always supported me warmly, putting our family first with his kind heart. As a husband, he deeply understood my heart, sharing both joys and sorrows, and had a strong will to overcome them together. His smile was like a lighthouse that brightened my world. His parents, too, were like a warm family to me. Having lost my father as a child and with my mother in long-term illness, my in-laws were like my real parents. Becoming a part of this family was a great joy for me, and I was willing to make any effort for them. In my happy marital life, there was just one dark cloud. My sister-in-law, Olivia. Our family was in perfect harmony, but she was an exception. Since the day of our wedding, she had shown hostility towards me. Her harassment became a part of my daily life, casting a shadow over my heart. She was like a model in a flashy fashion show, always holding the latest brand bags and saying proudly, Look, isn't this new Louis Vuitton cute? Then she would turn to me and ask with a sense of superiority, Which brand do you like? Her words always seemed to look down on me. You have never received a gift from a man? Really? That's unbelievable. Her insidious behavior gradually corroded my heart. At first, I thought it was jealousy because she felt I had taken her brother, but there was a deeper truth. She despised my mediocrity as the wife of her high-spec brother. She couldn't stand my existence. My lack of experience with men was also a joke to her. Recently, I've been hassled by guys I don't even like. You wouldn't understand that, would you? Oh, it's a waste even asking. She belittled me like that. However, her harassment escalated day by day, and my peaceful days turned into days of living in her shadow. The monthly dinner hosted by my in-laws was supposed to be a time to deepen family bonds, but for me, it was a battlefield with Olivia. The dinner always turned into her showtime, where she gleefully talked about her boasts, delicious restaurants, and being hit on in the streets. Her husband, who also attended, was an ordinary and overly kind man whose kindness only highlighted her sharp personality. When I brought homemade food, she criticized it as terrible, ruining the atmosphere. My husband and in-laws comforted me, but she stubbornly refused to say it was delicious. I thought it was my fault the dinner was ruined. As I was feeling down, she added insult to injury. Your gloomy mood is making me feel sick. Her attacks were always directed at me, interfering with my life. Her words and actions were a source of stress for me, but as a member of his family, I tried my best to build a harmonious relationship. One day, I finally went shopping after a long while. I thought I ended up buying a lot, but it's fine once in a while. It was also a release from stress. Ha, huh. is that Olivia? I saw a couple walking ahead of me. From behind, it didn't seem like her husband. What does this mean? They were really close, even crossing their arms and even kissing. They dared to do this right in the middle of the street. The two of them definitely looked like lovers, and the word cheating popped into my mind. 
Could it be that I've stumbled upon a secret of my sister-in-law? Feeling like a detective, I decided to follow her. Now walking alone, maybe it's better not to know, but I saw it, so I just can't help but be curious. Olivia walked confidently toward her destination without looking back, and she arrived at a pawn shop. What could it be? And it was indeed that. She must have gotten a watch from her boyfriend earlier, and now she put it on the counter. I thought, no way, she's selling it immediately. But is this how she's making money? Speaking of which, that boyfriend. I felt like I'd seen him somewhere before. Well, never mind. Olivia is supposed to be a homemaker. I heard she was getting living expenses from her husband, but she was increasing her own money in this way. As these thoughts circled in my mind, Olivia came out of the shop, talking on the phone. Yeah, I just sold it for $2,000. I thought it would fetch more. What a pity. Well, I'll just get another one from someone else. So it's fine. Oh, I'm going to the store today, too. The money is all for that. I felt like I'd heard something I shouldn't have. Thinking it would be better not to get involved any further, I decided to leave the place and chose to keep an eye on this matter a bit longer without telling my husband, her brother. A small disturbance occurred in my quiet daily life. Ha! Huh. Where did it go? My hand kept opening and closing the drawer. The credit card that should have been there was gone without a trace. Even though I didn't remember using it, I thought, did I leave it in my wallet? Or could it be my husband? To check, I decided to look up the credit card transaction history online. Then a surprising fact came to light. What? This hotel? The name of a short-stay hotel behind the station appeared on the screen. Of course, I had never been there. Could it be my husband? But he didn't seem like the type to do such a thing. The only others who could enter this house are my in-laws who have the spare key. Could it be? No, no, that can't be right. But thinking about it, it's the most likely possibility. That must be it. I called my in-laws to check. As I thought, the spare key was missing. My mother-in-law was flustered but said, Don't worry. I have an idea of where it might be. It must be my sister-in-law. I didn't want to believe it, but there was no other explanation. She had entered this room and stolen the credit card. But how should I tell my husband this? If she really had the credit card, it would be only a matter of time before she would use it again. I decided to keep the past history as evidence and let her keep using it for a while. But why do bad things always seem to pile up? My mother, who had been ill for many years, passed away. I have few memories with both my father and mother. However, I have fragmented memories of my mother loving me by herself, though I didn't spend much time with her due to her long hospital stays. Memories of happier days come back to me at times like this as the only family. I took care of the funeral arrangements. It was a small family funeral, but the days were hectic nonetheless. Then I received a notification on my phone about the credit card usage. I had set it up to receive alerts every time the card was used, but I never expected it to happen on the day of the funeral. They should have known about it, although I had asked Olivia and her husband not to attend because it was a small funeral. Yet she used my card at this time anyway. I checked the usage, and it seemed like she bought cosmetics at some airport. I thought, what, Heathrow Airport in the UK, really? But with who? I met her husband just a few days ago, but he hadn't mentioned her trip at all. Could it be a secret from her husband? When I contacted him, it turned out just as I had suspected. Olivia had lied to him and went on an overseas trip with her lover. She had told him, my mother has fallen ill, and I have to take care of her at my parents' home, so I can't come back for a few days. Using someone else's credit card to enjoy a trip with her lover, how low can she get as a human being? Unable to overlook her unbelievable actions any longer, I decided to take action. 
Since it was certain that Olivia was cheating, I waited for her to return and started investigating, gradually uncovering the reality of her actions. Shockingly, she wasn't just seeing one person. She had four simultaneous affairs, switching partners almost daily like changing lunch menus. She's really despicable. I couldn't help but complain about her outrageous behavior week after week. She received gifts from someone and sold them at pawn shops. She needed money for visiting nightclubs. I don't know how much she spent, but she seemed to be going to the club nearly every night. Probably she had fallen for a favorite worker there since she was dating and visiting nightclubs every day. Evidence quickly accumulated. Now it was just a matter of deciding when to act. Then in the city, I ran into someone by chance, that boyfriend of my sister-in-law. Moreover, he was a classmate from my high school. That's why he seemed familiar. I went into a cafe with him and questioned him about his relationship with Olivia. Then he revealed the full extent of her misdeeds. He showed me the love messages that she had sent him. These were part of her cunning scheme. She always talked about our future together, plans to build a house, names for our children, dreams for our old age. He also gave me letters and photos she had given him and tapes with her voice recorded on them. They were filled with her words of love. However, everything was a lie. She told me she needed money to support her family. That's why I gave it to her. He then showed me a list of expensive gifts he had given her. They were the apparent proof of love she had received from him. However, she had sold them at pawn shops to finance her lavish lifestyle. She told me, our love was forever. But all that was a lie. Hearing his story, my anger towards Olivia boiled over. She had been exploiting his pure love. He was deeply hurt. I decided to confront Olivia and called her. Olivia, do you know anything about my credit card? Starting with a light jab, why are you asking me? There's no way I know, was the expected response. Actually, the spare key I left with the mother-in-law has gone missing. You have it, don't you? I told you I don't know. No need to lie. I know everything. What do you mean? What do you know? Starting to panic a bit. You used my credit card for a trip with someone other than your husband. She hesitated, likely thinking about how to respond. How do you know that? Well, it doesn't matter. It's not cheating. It's just dating. Dating? You mean a romantic relationship? No, just as friends. You might not understand because of your limited experience with men, but I have many male friends. That's how it went, but I don't think this is a matter that can be settled just as friends. Then why haven't you told your husband? You even lied to go on that trip, right? Well, my mom really is ill. The trip was decided suddenly, so it couldn't be helped. Oh, really? She has an answer for everything. Who knows whether it is true? This type of person will always find an excuse, so it might be effective to confront her with undeniable facts. Is that so? But you are having an affair, aren't you? I've seen it all. Seen what? I saw you walking arm in arm with a man. That was Nathan. Does the name Nathan ring a bell? Why? Why would you bring up that name? He's a classmate of mine. I recognized his face, so I decided to talk to him. Perhaps realizing she was in trouble, my sister-in-law suddenly fell silent. Well, good. Let's press on. You lied about being single and dated him, right? And you even told him your mother was seriously ill and needed money for treatment, which he gave you. Nathan's father is a company president and it was well known at school that Nathan came from money. He's smart and wealthy, but somehow naive about women. It's just too sad that his girlfriend turned out to be my sister-in-law. That's why I told him that she was married. And you were even talking about marriage, weren't you? 
Isn't that marriage fraud? He's planning to sue you. Sue me. That's... I never said I wanted his money. But you did take money from him, saying you needed it because your family finances were tight. Right? Well, yes, but... Olivia began to falter. As she finally realized the gravity of the situation. Ah, and by the way, you've been taking money from others as well, right? What? Why? It doesn't matter how I found out. More importantly, do you realize you could be facing a warrant for your arrest? Warrant? Why would I be? Oh dear, you didn't know? No, that's... It's a lie. What do you mean? She was now more than just unsettled, but she was panicking. People you've conned out of money have apparently filed criminal charges with the police. The police wouldn't get involved over something like that. Oh, but they do when the total damage is significant. Just how much did you con people out of? It's frightening, really. Just from him alone, she took about 300,000. To frequent nightclubs daily, she must have been receiving similar amounts from several people. The total damage must be nearly one million dollars. But I don't have that kind of money on hand, so there's no proof, proof or not. You've been sued. Divorce is next. Divorce? Why would that happen? Oh, you thought your husband wouldn't find out. He knows everything. What? No way. She must be pale and trembling now. I just gave your husband the evidence of your affair, so he'll probably be home soon. Why would you do something like that? Imagining her face contorted with anger and anxiety, I continued. There are things that are okay to do, and things that aren't, even among family. I don't plan on forgiving you for stealing and using my credit card without permission. Wait, I'll return the money right away. Please forgive me. Crying and begging won't help her now. I will never forgive you. You will return everything you took without permission. Following that, my sister-in-law divorced her husband, and after learning the situation, her parents disowned her. Of course, there were also multiple complaints from other men, and she was eventually arrested. The criminal trial led to a non-suspended prison sentence, so she won't be getting out anytime soon. The money she splurged with my credit card was compensated for by her husband as a thanks for the evidence photos I provided. Finally, peace has returned to my surroundings. My husband just got a promotion recently, and his salary increased. Then a little life came into our world when we announced this joyful news to his parents. They cried with happiness as my belly grew day by day. It's lovely, and when I talk to it, I feel a little kick in response. How cute. Look, it responded. My husband leaned his ear against my belly, smiling as he listened to that tiny world. We held hands, laughing as we envisioned a future filled with hope and love.